the other thing is within both of those roles, realtor or investor, there's multiple options within each of those roles too, right? I mean, as an investor, I can offer them the cash offer like that I would offer or that one of the investors in my close circle would offer. Or because I've got 20 years as a realtor, I do have a, a pretty big book of cash buyer investors and cash yeah. buyers look at properties different depending on what they're doing with them, right? You might have one cash buyer that's looking for long-term hold, or you have one that's looking for fix and flips, or you have one that's a wholesaler and they might value the property slightly differently there too. If a seller just wants that clean cash close as quick as possible, like that person that's kind of begging to, to take the property away, then that, that's probably a good candidate for like a, a quick close cash clean offer. In more cases than not, it's going to be like their lowest offer, right? They want to sell fairly quickly, but they have a little bit of patience. Then I could shop it like to an investor list and yep. say, let's, let's attract multiple cash offers because of the fact that different cash investors, you know, I might get one that says, Hey, I'll, I'll offer you 80 cash. And then you get another one that's maybe in more of like a buy and hold mindset and yep. they might be a little bit more, right? They might offer 92 cash. So if they have a little bit of patience, but want to move fairly quickly, then maybe we go that route of like, let's shop it around to multiple different investors. Let's get five or seven offers and see what, see what you get. That's an option. And then again, on the flip side of like the traditional real estate sale, a seller can take multiple approaches there as well, right? I mean, you can, you know, like you said, it's a seller's market. So like right now, it doesn't really hurt to try, like if you want to push the price a little bit, if you're that real patient seller, you want to push the price a little bit within reason, we can do that. We can put it on the MLS and kind of see what the market does because the way the market's been, we've been very surprised, you know, it's like, well, we thought we were overpriced by five grand and we still got overbids for five more grand. Up, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's been happening. Um, obviously, that changes with the market a little bit. Um, but you know, again, on that staying on that same traditional real estate side, price it at what I call like the sweet spot. You know, right at hopefully not too high, not too low. And in this market, that'll give you like a an asking price offer or a slight overbid. And then you just take the one with the best terms and maybe the best price. Or even on the open real estate market, we can price it really competitively and just create you know, like a ton of offers that way. The, the thing that like a hybrid like myself can offer too, is that ability to pivot, right? So, I mean, can't really pivot up, like if you start with that clean cash offer, but like, if you want to try the market for a minute, you can try that. But if it, if it's like, well, I want to try the market for two weeks. And then if, if I haven't sold it or I haven't gotten an offer that I really like, maybe I'll just pivot to like a cash offer or multiple cash offers or whatever. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of flexibility. And, and like you said, we can also look at creative solutions like, you know, rent to owns or land contracts. Or yeah. The goal is to basically have a conversation with any seller and hopefully be able to create a solution for them. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe and click here to watch more.